When creating an analysis class diagram, an important component is identifying the relationships between classes. We have three different lines that we can use for establishing those relations, and they represent different relations. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the generalization relation, and this one is a solid line. Notice that the one they offer us here in draw.io has a dashed line, so I can change that to a solid line. It's a solid line with that open arrowhead, and it establishes a generalization relationship. And that indicates that there is a more specific version. For example, that a car is a kind of vehicle. That's a generalization. And the vehicle is the general class, and the car is the more specific class. And these uh, relations have no label on them, so they're descriptive by their shape, identify the relation, and the arrowhead goes on the general side and the plain end goes on the more specific side. The next relation is an aggregation and an aggregation is a solid line with an open arrowhead on the end. And there's another kind uh, very similar called a uh, composition and composition is related to a physical is part of. So both of them represent is part of, but the composition represents it physically is a part of. For example, a car, I mean a door is part of a car. Whereas the aggregation is a logical is part of, for example, an employee is part of a department. So both of them identify is part of. There's a little bit finer definition between the two. So you can use these two different ones if you want to represent it that way, or if you want, you can just use the aggregation to represent every is part of relation. And that's what I'm going to do. Now when you're using an aggregation, it has a label on it. And that label consists of how they're related and a direction. So to add a label, I'm simply going to click on the line and, and add the label is part of. And then the direction goes this way. So I put the, the arrowhead that way. So is part of. This would work for an, an employee is part of a department. Now I can move that label. I don't want it actually on the line I want above. So I grab that little yellow marker and I can move it where I want and to get to get it where I want it to go. Also if I want to edit it then I click on that yellow one to get to identify that that's what I want to change. All right so there's my label is part of on an aggregation relation. The last one is an association and it's for everything else. Now an association is like an aggregation without anything on the end so I can simply remove the end and put none and we just have a solid line. But it also has a label with a direction and so I'm going to put a label on this one as well. For example I might have a customer views an interface and the way that I put the arrow would be depend which way the classes are. So if it went this way, then the customer would be on this side, customer views interface. Or if I put the arrowhead on this way, then the customer would be on this side, customer views interface. So when you speak it, when you speak the relation, the arrowhead points the way to address it. And here, let me move that <clears throat> off of there where I want it and that's how you label an association. Now let's go up and add a few up here. So here we have physical storage that contains the, that has lots of locations and so here is part of relation will work. So we bring in aggregation, we put the <coughs> diamond on the side that holds all of them and the solid end on the one that is a single one and it says it is a part of this physical storage. So I'm going to say a location is part of and notice the physical storage. To do this I'm going to have to spin this label around to make that work. And this type of label doesn't spin so I'm going to get rid of 
I'm going to get rid of that label and instead I'm going to use the different kind of text that I can use and so it's a different way to label it since I can't change it and I need to be able to show the direction on this. So I just double click and I get a text and say is part of and I put the arrow on it. Now this kind of text has the ability to turn and so I can turn it up and slide it over and then I have location is part of physical storage. So that's an aggregation relation. Here I have movie item and DVD. Now these are a little tight for what I want to do but this is a generalization relation and so I'm going to capture the line that has the solid arrowhead and bring it up here where I want. So if I just put it on it just goes wherever it wants. If I drag it instead so I capture it and drag it it'll go where I want it. So now the open arrowhead goes on the general class and the straight line goes on the spe specific class, the more specific class. Now I can range these this way. You get a kind of flexibility how you want to do it, but I want to show that's a generalization. Now I need to make this a solid line. Remember on the generalization it's a solid line. Now I'm going to capture another one uh, because the movie file is also a generalization. So I'm going to make it solid and bring it up. and I want it to be this way and bring it down and there I've got a generalization relation and notice how this doesn't have to be uh, no, no label on these. Uh, when they do something like that go to arrange and clear byways and see if they'll get back in line. Alright so there we've got that generalization relation. What about an aggregation? Uh, movie info it works as an aggregation. So <clears throat> if I capture a line and I say movie info, now this remember that it doesn't it doesn't have an arrowhead on an association so I'm going to put none on that end. I want to drag that over there. Okay and now I need to label it. And This is a straight one so I can just click on the line and label it and say that movie info informs the inventory record. Okay, that's the relationship. And I also want to put an over arrow head on it, right? So in forms, and the direction goes this way. So it speaks movie info informs inventory record. And that's how I get a label on that. That's an association. So then you go through each of these and identify how they're related to each other. And, and how that and you use those three kinds of relations to do it. Another way to draw a line is from the class box itself. So notice when I hover over this that I can see the light blue arrow heads that show up. When those are shown you can just click and drag and that will produce a line from the one to the other and it makes it pretty straightforward. Now we see that this is an aggregation relation because a customer account is part of accounts so I just go over here and I can edit however I want. So in aggregation we know that it has an open diamond so there's that open diamond I can put on the end. I can make it a little bit bigger and there I have got that aggregation line. And then I can add the text by either clicking on the line or um, and say is part of with the direction and there I have the is part of. Okay, Put it wherever you want and that's another way to add lines and you have complete control of what the lines look like over here so you can edit to make the line that you want. I recommend when you do that you do all the lines of the same because the next time now that I add a line it will be like the last one I made. So if you pick one line and do them all then you'll get it already repeating the line that you're using. And then when you want to change just change it and repeat those lines.